Hello, everybody. Welcome back to GP's Odds and Ends. Jessica here. If you can see, I did do my nails over the last weekend, and they're really kind of cool. So I did this thermal dip powder, so you can see where it's warm. It's like this grayish color, and then I did spiderweb stamps on top. Let me see if I can get the camera to focus here. Um, doesn't always want to. Let me see. So I did, yeah, I did like spider web stamping on top. But the cool thing about this, because you can see like this one looks a little bit darker, when my nails are cold, the whole nail just looks black. So it's it's called hide and seek, the dip the dip powder, this gray that turns to black when it's cold. Um is by Triple D dip powder. And it's called hide and seek. But it's really it's really kind of cool because you can hide a design like that. So like I said, when my hands are cold, you don't see any of the spider webs, but when they warm up, you do. <laughs> So this is my, this is my Halloween Manny this year. <laughs> I do have uh, some happy mail from, let's see, was this the only, I think this is the only happy mail I have. Currently, this is from Candy over at Stuff and Budget. And this should be membership mail, looks like it is. I feel like... <laughs> okay, so October Freebie, thank you so much for being a member. And she always puts in these cute little stickers. And she included a little nail file this time. That's so cute. <laughs> With the little butterflies. <laughs> this is so this is a cute size to have like in your pocketbook. In case you need it. Look at the cute little snowman. We're getting to the winter time of year, guys. So we have her card. And then I tried to be nice and got my head bit off. <laughs> That's cute. So that will go into my rotation. Okay, so I do have to do... Um, I did stuff into my wallet. I still don't have any like change dollar bills or coins um because I haven't really gone like grocery shopping or done like any of my normal errands that I would do since I've been back from my trip. So that's um hopefully I get some more coins soon so I don't think I'll be finishing the coin book before the end of this year at this point. I still have quite a long way to go in that, but that's fine. I'll finish it when I finish it. I do have to do odd and even today and holiday randomizer. So let's go ahead and do odd and even first. Let me zoom you out a tad. There we go. That is better. Okay, so we'll do odd and even and I believe I was doing... Oh, I still have them out. Insurance and debt. I might need to get some new binders soon. Some of mine are getting a little <laughs> frayed. But it is what it is. So, okay. So we'll do... Let's do it this way. And for anybody new, the way that I do the odd and even, um, I'm going to... Let's see. Let's make... Let's make insurance even and debt odd. I have, I believe, $100 this time. I've had a little bit of extra money because of the overtime that I was doing. I'm doing overtime again, but not going crazy with it this time. I'm just kind of doing like an hour, an extra hour after my shift. I don't want to burn myself out. <laughs> 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and 100 today. So I'm going to use a dice. If I roll a one, three, or five, it will go into the odd pile or debt this time. If I roll a two, four, or six, it goes into even. So it's just kind of a 
cool way to focus on a couple of priority envelopes and we'll count. Um, I decided to do insurance again. I did pay my insurance in, uh, this month, uh, cup, actually maybe within the last week or so. But um, I want to get a head start on the premium that will be owed in April because I do pay six months at a time. So, and then, of course, anything else will go into my debt envelope. So let's start with the 20s. 20 is going into even for insurance. And maybe since I don't have the coin book today, I'll do the J books uh, as well and some more in the new challenge book that I'm doing for the J bucks. Okay, so we have a 20 in each pile. That's a two, so 10 going into even. Six, so another one for even. <laughs> another even. Another six, so insurance is getting everything. <laughs> Three, so odd. And... I'm going to count that. It was kind of tilted, but debt has not gotten very much. So we're going to keep that. So even insurance this time is getting 20, 30, 40, 50, and 60. So let's see what we are up to. So it already has 60. So that'll be 120, which, I mean, we're already moving quite, like, right along with this. I don't know what envelope I'll do next time, like, once I get this fully funded again. Um, so that's 120, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 110, and 20. For insurance, um, I don't know if I want to do some more in emergency or maybe focus on like savings. Maybe I'll try to get emergency up to like a thousand. It's at 500 right now. Um, but let's see. Debt is 20, 30, 40 going into debt this time. And this will go towards my debt payments. I do have a little bit on credit cards now because I did use them, um, while I was traveling and before traveling, I do need to transfer like my travel money that's in the bank over to pay some of that off. But, you know, the jewelry that I bought, <laughs> 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and 90 into debt. And I, I don't know when school loans are going to start up again. So we will see. And let me just put those in there for now and then holiday binder will be next so I'm going to go ahead and get everything that I need for this and get set up and I will be right back okay before we move on to the holiday randomizer I do want to announce the winner for the little giveaway that um of items from plan to save designs so if you watch the etsy video that uh the etsy payout video that i had last week uh or so um plan to save designs was so nice and sent me some extras to do a giveaway with so I did ask a question at the end of that video and um, asked what is the mask from the Michael Myers or Halloween movies. So if you Googled it or if you already knew, it is a William Shatner mask. However, I will also take Captain Kirk uh, if you put that into your um, comment. So, um, yeah, the iconic mask worn by Michael Myers in the Halloween, Halloween film series was actually an augmented William Shatner mask. 
Uh, the mask originated from a cast of Shatner's face made for the 1975 horror film The Devil's Reign. And the original mask was painted white and used in the first two films. So that's a little snippet that it gives right here. Um, let me know also for Halloween, would you want to do like a fun like Halloween movies or horror movies like... Um, not really a trivia video, but like fun facts kind of a thing. <laughs> I have more. I have more fun facts. I love horror movies. I love watching stuff about horror movies. But anyways, let's get on to this. So I'm going to leave this as anything goes for the comment. I didn't have you do a hashtag or anything like that. And like I said, I will take William Shatner or Captain Kirk. So I don't want to like put that in there and, and anybody gets eliminated. So if, for instance, you know, if the comment doesn't have Captain Kirk or William Shatner in it, uh, I will pick again. So good luck, everybody. So let's go ahead and pick a, we have 13 comments, but not all of them. I know not all of them have um, the answers in there. And a lot of you said that you don't like horror movies. Some of you said that you love horror movies. I love horror movies. <laughs> So we have Christina Y2K. She says, loved the Happy Mail. It is one of my all-time favorite movies. Absolutely love the original, but the new one's really good as well. I thought I heard it was a Captain Kirk William Shatner mask. Yes, you are correct, Christina. You are the winner, and it is also one of my favorite horror movies. I also love the original. I think even though to look back or watch it again, it is a little cheesy uh in this like day and age there's just something kind of off-putting about um I believe it was Tim Allen is the actor that played Pennywise the clown and he's just like very good at it um but yeah the the move the movies were good <laughs> I I love like the Stephen King movies that have like come out well, and I'm, and I'm glad that like, we're starting to see more of them and, and them being done well and not kind of like cheesy. Cause there are some Stephen King movies out there that are just like, what, what, like the books are always so much better, but Christina, um, please reach out to me. You can message me on Etsy. You can email me. My information is on my uh, channel info. So I have email, um, you can Etsy message me or Instagram as well. So congratulations, Christina. And we are horror movie besties because you also love it. And that is absolutely one of my favorites for horror movies. All right. I'll be right back with all of the holiday randomizer stuff. So first, a rundown of the items that I have, the binder and all of the labels. Well, except for that one. All of these vinyl labels were made by Supernatural Budgets. The binder comes from Supernatural Budgets. I don't think that she has a shop any longer, so I don't know, like... Um, if she's still selling items or not. Um, all of the cards that I have in here are for Mischief Managed Budgets. The randomizer card is also from Mischief Managed Budgets. She's Mischief Budgets on Etsy, so go check her out. And then the money, I have, I think I have a hundred for this as well, maybe more. Let's see what I have. 20, 40, 50, 65, 75, 85, 86, 7, 8, 9, 90, 90, 1, 2, 3, <laughs> 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 100. Perfect. And let me move some of this over a little bit so you can see the money. Okay. There we go. All right. So first things first, I always like to randomize the randomizer. I just, um, for some reason, it seems like if I don't, if I just put these in order the way that they are, it seems like the same envelope gets the same money all the time. 
And I think I did put New Year's all the way in the back. I have that fully funded at uh, just over or around $200. I'm going to, I think, double up on Christmas and Thanksgiving. And then we have Valentine's, and I always keep gifts in there as well. So gifts will be number six. And Thanksgiving, we have number one. Let's roll again. Come on, something other than a six, three. All right, so I need two slots for Christmas. Four. And, oh, that's another six, another four, two. <laughs> and then that leaves Valentine's in slot number five. Oops. I always, um, I'm not with anybody, like a partner or anything like that currently. So we usually, my mother, my sister, and I will go out for like Galentine's the night before. Um... Valentine's for like a girl's night out. So I have my scratcher in case I have any that I need to scratch off. So basically as I roll the dice, this will designate what envelope the money goes into. The card will designate how much goes into that envelope. So let's shuffle a little bit. Cause I don't, I don't think, um, I don't usually shuffle like when I'm finished, of course. <laughs> okay. All right. So let's see what we have. Actually, let me. Maybe that will be a <laughs> <that> better. <laughs> Just trying to give myself as much room as I can to roll. So we have six, which will go into gifts and gifts is getting $2. One for Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving has a scratcher. And all of these, these always look like pepperoni pizzas to me, but that definitely looks like maybe some basil or spinach. I don't know. I don't, maybe, maybe those are tomatoes. This could be like another margarita pizza. And... Let's see. That looks like a red pepper. Really looks like an apple, but <laughs> I know that's not going to be on the pizza. I mean, unless it's a dessert pizza. That could be. And let's see. Five for Valentine's. Yay. Valentine's hasn't seen a whole lot of love. We have another scratcher. I may look calm, but in my head, I've pecked you three times. <laughs> I love her cards. They're so funny. Oof, that's a big one. $13. I'm going to need more ones. Ten. 11, 12, and 13. Whoops, I think I I took an extra one. There we go. 13. Okay. Next up is 3 for Thanksgiving. I want Christmas to get some more love, but we will see. 8 is going into Thanksgiving. And let's see. I'm going to put 2 back and put in a 10. Four for Christmas. Yay. Christmas is getting 10. And I don't have any more 10s, so we will do two fives. Two, another one for Christmas. And Christmas is getting the little grumpy pumpy. Grumpy pumpy. <laughs> grumpy puppy. 
needing the coffee. She has so many cute little cards run over at Mischief Managed Budgets. And I, I just, I love all of them. <laughs> okay, so that's um, eight, which would be going into Christmas. Let's see, five, six, seven, and eight. So not quite enough yet to do cash swap, but hopefully I can cash swap with some of those 20s. Six for gifts, and gifts is getting nine. And let's see, can I put one back and take ten? I'm going to need to cash swap. Let's see what we roll next. Three for Thanksgiving. And Thanksgiving would be getting seven. So let's see. Hmm. Okay, I need to cash swap some of this. Let me see. Do I have a lot of ones in this envelope? One, two, three. Well, I'm going to do a 10 and two fives and put the 20 in. And that will go back in. And... We'll do that for now. So that was seven, five, six, and seven going in. And let's see. One, two, three. Nope. Okay. All right. So I'm going to have to try to cash swap along the way. One. So that's Thanksgiving again. And another scratcher. I mean still looks like pepperoni pizza to me. <laughs> I haven't had pepperoni pizza in like forever. Ooh, 12. So 10, 11, 12. And let's see if I can... Let's see, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. So we'll put the 20 in and put this back. There we go. That will be helpful. Okay, and six for gifts again. Gifts is getting 10. Four for Christmas. Christmas is getting three. One, two, and three. Six again for gifts. Gifts is getting nine. Uh, let's see. Let me put one back and I'll take these last two fives. And I only have one, two, three, four, five dollars left. Four for Christmas. And Christmas is getting nine, which means I will need to go into my little cash o stash because I don't want to do an IOU. And I had one, two, three, four, five. Seven, eight, and nine. So I'm just pulling out four singles to go in there, and we will be done. Okay, so let me put some of this away. All right, so let's see what every envelope got this time. Looks like gifts might be the big winner, maybe between gifts and Thanksgiving. 10, 15, 25, and 30 going into gifts. So gifts now has 
100, 200, 10, 25, 35, 45, 50, 51, 2, and 3. So 253. That is quite nice. I'm probably going to be using some of that money soon. So I'll be taking a friend out for dinner for like a belated birthday. Um, so Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving's only getting 31. So that was not the big winner. So Thanksgiving now has... 100, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 95, 96, 7, 8, 9, 300. Not bad. And let's see. Christmas has a whole lot of ones. Christmas is getting 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 30 today. So gifts and Christmas were quite close. And I need to do a bill swap in here. Holy moly. So Christmas now has 100, 200, 250, 270, 290, 300, 10, 20, 30, 5, 45, 55, 65, 66, 7, 8, 9, 70, 71, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 80, 81, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 90, 91, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 395, we're almost at 400. Did I count that right? I'm sure I did, but I tend to lose track. <laughs> we are definitely going to have to do a bill swap in here. That is thick. And Valentine's is only getting 13. I may have to maybe start doubling up on Valentine's instead of Christmas. Because <laughs> I, I do like to get some extra in here. So if I am able to pay for like the dinner in full for like all three of us when we go, I like being able to do that. So 50, 100, 10, 25, 35, 40, 41, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50, 1, and 2. So 152, which is not bad. Not bad at all. That's a good amount getting in there. Okay, so that is it for the holiday binder. Let's do some J bucks because I like to keep that going. And I was doing a roll and save and I was doing this bigger dice because I have a bit of extra money in here to play with. I'm not going to count this again. It's quite a lot. I've got a ton of tens. Look at all of these tens. That's probably about like $200 right there just in the tens, <laughs> which is crazy in my opinion. And then I do have the envelope for it in my big savings challenge binder. I do need to do savings challenges again. I haven't done them in a hot minute, but I will. I will get back to it, I promise. So let's get in here. Let's do... Let's do this pinky color. We'll do this fuchsia color. This book is from Snow Gardener 307 Budgets, and my members voted on which book to do next. So let's see. That's a one. It's letting me off easy to start with. <laughs> I'm scared. Uh, let me let me just put the one there. Four. So I'll put the one back and take the five. Another one. What is happening? <laughs> this is weird. A nine. That's more like it. I'm going to put the one back and take a ten. That was a nine. And a ten. Oof. Should I keep going? Oh, should I keep going? 
I mean, I feel like that was quite low. I don't know. Should I just finish this page? Oh, you guys. Let's do it. That is a six. So five and six. Another ten. There's an eight. So five, six, seven, and eight. Whoops. This dice, I think, only goes up to 12. Yeah, 12 is the biggest number I can get. There's a 5. So let me put a 5 back and take a 10. A 4. And let's see, can I put 6 in and take? Yes. 5 and 6, and I'll put in another 10. I mean, I need to use up these tens. <laughs> okay. And that's another, that was a six. So five and six. Another four. So let's put the six back and take the 10 again. A 12. There's a big number. 10. 11, 12, a 2, 1 and 2, and another 12. So I'm actually going to, uh, I would need to put 8 back, right? Or actually, let's do this. Um, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to bill swap that and then we'll do 10, 11, 12. All right, so I am going to probably bill swap some of this because if I can use up the tens, I'd rather keep the ones and the fives over there. Okay, so right off the bat, there's a 10, and let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, it is what it is. All right, so we're adding another 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1, 2, 3, 4 today. Bowsers! Oh my goodness. So... That is quite a start for this book here. Now, I don't think like any of the other pages are going to be like that big. Like this one, these are going to be between one and nine. So I can't imagine like a lot of them are very high numbers. But this is a good start for for this book. But we have a lot to go through because we just have started. Should I should I keep track of like what we've? Maybe I'll keep. Yeah, maybe I'll do this just because that way when I'm done, um, I don't remember when I started the book. When did we start? Um, it wasn't. I'm gonna say ten fifteen. I don't know. I don't think that that's right, but. Um, we'll just say the middle of October. We'll see how long it takes to finish. But let's see. The first one, the roll and save. Let me see how much this should be and make sure I have the right amount. Oops. And then I'll write it down just so that way, like at the end, I know how much I should have total and make sure that it matches up. Okay. 
So there should be $195 here. So 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, wait, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 85, 86, 7, 8, 9, 90, 91, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so I think I'm going to... Going to bill swap five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. One, two, three, four, five. That just makes it easier to deal with. Okay, so this first envelope has a hundred and ninety-five, or this first page rather. So let's write that in. That's probably, I, I mean, I would imagine that's going to be the biggest, like, amount saved in the entire book. I don't, I would, I think, I, I'm thinking. <laughs> Unless there's another roll and save, I don't know. There could be. Yeah, there's another roll and save here. So it depends on if we do the same dice. We will see, we will see. But I still have quite a lot of money here too, so craziness. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. I always have a lot of fun when we can do some savings challenges. Let me know if you want to do like some more horror movie, uh, trivia or like fun facts. <laughs> if you can call horror fun, <laughs> I do. <laughs> Um, let me know and maybe we'll do something fun for Halloween. Thank you so much for joining me till next time. Bye for now.